at the par 5 tenth. Good tee shot for Steven. Just a long iron coming in here. This whole location and hole are gettable today. Yeah, oh in. yes they are. Look at this shot by Alker. Yeah there have been six eagles at 10 today. 22 birdies. Alker for his eagle at the 10th. Steven lost in a playoff Ooh. here to Miguel Angel Jimenez back in 2022. Yeah. Alker missed about a 10 foot par putt to extend that playoff. Got to wonder if that was maybe a misread by Alker because that did not even touch the hole for that eagle from couldn't have been more than six feet. For birdie at 15. Yeah wonderful shot in here. <clears throat> Take advantage of it and that's really well done for Steven. At 16. Yeah nice play in here for Steven. Tough hole location in his right front. Over at 17 Steven Alker for birdie to get to within one of the lead VJ Singh in. At seven under, and here comes Stephen Alker. Stephen Alker for his birdie and a share of the lead. Oh. Yeah! Man makes a lot of putts, hits a lot of high quality shots. Great playing again by Stephen Alker. Yeah, he birdied the last four holes. And what he's got to do from here is pick a target, something in the background, a tree that he likes, and knows he knows that's the proper line. Hit it at that. The wind is hard left to right. So look for this to peel just a little left to right going in there. Ooh, that may be right. That's now nah, it's right up the center of the green. It gets it? a okay. kick. It'll go all the way back there. And it does. Good shot. Oh, excellent shot. Getting better all the time. He's got to look at Eagle. Steven Alker has this for Eagle. Yeah, the birdie back there at the par five fourth. He drove it miles down there. Just had a middle iron, maybe an eight iron. So he has taken advantage of these five so far. This should go a little left and maybe back to the right at the end, but that one's struggling. Yeah, he just didn't hit it hard enough. Justin Leonard. I think has he hit the, it red correctly. Justin Leonard has the only eagle of the day. BJ and Cass and Cass can bomb it. I think BJ's long. My goodness. Alker for birdie and that gives Steven now the outright lead at 10 under. Does play down 12 yards but the wind out of the left may be slightly hurting. It's going a little left is the wind going to catch it It's starting to catch it if this gets a kick it'll be a good shot. Oh a little bit deep. There's a little backstop okay, back there. That's coming back down that's actually going to work out very nicely. That's a Quality shot Excellent. by Stephen Alker. Wonderful strike. Really was. Back over at the eighth, Stephen Alker trying to stretch that lead. Yeah, pretty good breaker from right to left. Oh. And wow. That's what a great birdie. That's like stealing right here and la lapping the field with birdie at the eighth, Cookie. Trace the technology presented by Trackman will follow the tee shot of Stephen Alker. Well, that 240 makes golf still fun. Yeah, my boys laugh at me though, Cookie. That ball is pummeled. It was. That was just beautiful. And it's still hit, going. Yeah, hit the slopes. That is long. That's going to be mid iron. Alker is. Alker is hammering the ball right now. Man. I know, there was no uh, transition really. You're still playing professional golf. You're still trying to beat everybody in the field. And whether it's 54 holes or or 72 holes, it really didn't make much difference. And, I tell you this Stephen Alker he has a wonderful golf swing. Yes he does. He has a very solid. Um, yeah, yeah his, his turn his impact. He's very very solid. I was going to ask you about that Tom what impressed you about Stephen Alker and he really came from nowhere. We didn't have anything worse than par yesterday either. So nobody's actually ever even made a bogey at 10 this week. So that gets Alker to 12 under par. Now let's go over to 13 and Steven Alker straight into the wind 260 past that right bunker kind of have to try to hug that and Steven Alker has done that and this should be perfect. John yeah. do you have an explanation as to why this is the third hardest hole in the golf course today. I think just a uh, whole locations kind of in a little kind of a corner into the wind back at the 13th Steven Alker our leader 113 little into the breeze. Got just a little pitching wedge right here. A little left of the flag, but it looks like a pretty good line. 
Good chance to get one close. He does right underneath the hole. That's got a great look at birdie. No more than five feet. Normally pretty solid from this distance. Still is. So nice tidy round of golf going. Uh, it, it is looking easy, isn't it, John? Just try to hit it right at that little pot piece of rough right there and just go ahead and sling one. Yeah, anything that's right of the yep. left bunker is great, and that's close. Should stay right of it. Oh, it I'm does. Sure that's, that's perfect. Not sure Steven really caught his drive. He's got 224 for a 255 hole. In contrast, VJ only has 175 to the front. So wow. Maybe he's just trying to hit that little squeezer out there. Well, he'd like to take that front bunker out of play if he can. Kind of going up the right, trying to turn. And a nice oh, job. Oh, my goodness. Look, Look at this. this shot by Steven Alker. Oh, man. He just doesn't back off. Gets it past that flag. About 15 feet. Pretty good chance to make this one. Gave it a run. Yes, he did. Hello. How Man. easy is this round looking for Steven Alker? Yeah, this is just a clinic right here. It's unbelievable how well he's playing. Steven Alker on the tee at 16. It's strong par four right here into the breeze. Good hole location. Need a good one. Yes, sir. Very good. Really good swing. Great balance there. Nice shot there by Alker right down the center. 156 here for Steven. Has to be a little bit right of this flag, maybe at that Marshall you see back there. Yeah, or right over the center of the bunker, that nose in the bunker, right over that, maybe that would be a good spot. I cannot miss left here. No. Now well, this is a little bit left, but good uh, weight I, and okay. <laughs> that's not, an aggressive shot. Yeah, not that much left. What a what a play. Great look here. I have to give this a little bit of left to right movement, but not much. Just about that much. Making it look easy, Cookie. He's now nine under on his round today. This is impressive. Steven Alker now on the tee. Seven wins. This is his 54th start on the PGA Tour champion. Efficient look. little start. Birdie at one, two putt birdie at the fourth. This is right down the center. Always felt one of the most important things, John, when you're leading a golf tournament, go out and have a great day driving. Take so much pressure off you yourself. You talk about getting long on a regular tour. They're <laughs> getting proportionally long out here as well. Yeah, four iron for Steven Alker, 218 front, 232 hole up the right hand side. This will get a nice little oh. kick. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's hits the cart path. Okay, hit the cart path. Hit, oh, oh, he got a bounce off the lava. Look out. Well, when you win, things happen really good. That needs to stop. It does. Stays on the green. What a break. That ball bounces you know, the, the way that you want it. And he's fortunate. He knows it. He was talking about it, kind of laughed about it. And you and know, kind of shrugged it off. And you know, Cookie, uh, according to from what Bob said. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just making three of that. I'm sitting there thinking, I don't know that I ever won that I didn't have a, a, an exceptional break somewhere. Those things happen when you win golf don't tournaments. Ever, don't that, apologize for it. No, don't apologize for it because you get bad ones. And here's a guy that just, that went from seven or eight to three. John Cook, uh, tell me about the tee shot here at eight. Yeah, it plays 11 yards downhill, 204 yards from this tee, moved the tee up a deck. This is a six iron. Yeah, just look at center of the green or anything just yes. right of the flag would be ideal. And that's something right there. Oh, just hit it 10 feet right of the flag. That's excellent. That's spectacular. When you're leading, that is a really quality golf swing right there. This is a lot closer than I thought. This is only about five feet. Yeah, that, he buried this hole yesterday too, Lanny. And he did today. That was very, very easy. That graphic at the bottom we just showed scoring average. 65 and change. He's making the 
landing area wider than it would have been if he's going at the flag. So he's also it also means he's going to hit this really hard, which he did. That was that was a big swing for a pitcher. Wedge. And it's to the right. Oh, it hung in there. Wow. Good shot now. Excellent. Well right underneath the hole, about 14 Good feet. Shot. Beautiful. Flirting a little bit with that right bunker. Has only made one bogey this week, and that came on the eighth hole of round one. And he shot one under on his opening round. Then shot 30 on the incoming nine and shot a bogey 363 yesterday, and boom. Boom, baby. Wow. He is playing his own little tournament right now. Hitting a shot offline. Yeah, I agree. I don't think there's another. Well, the one on the next hole, you got bunkers, but this is a seed right Perfect. out the left center. That's gorgeous. Right there at that turn point. Perfect. Second for Alker at 14. 213 all in. Just trying to hit it out to the right front part of the green, which is at 204. Yeah, anything up on the putting perfect. surface, and that is perfect, like you said, Clinical. Cookie. That is absolutely what he was trying to do. Stephen Alker for Eagle at 14. Yeah, it goes up the slope. Big breaker from right to left, down the back side. Got to worry about speed. Eh, didn't hit it hard enough, but that's going to be a very easy birdie. And that gets Alker to 23 under. And for the moment. Setting up, or it's like parallel lines. Of his feet are aimed down the railroad track on the left, and he's aiming the ball down the right railroad track right at the flag. It's right at it. Boy, uh, game set match. Yep, that's it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your trip, boys. He's been perfect today. He really has. We're aiming about 12, 15 feet left, but a good strike nonetheless. Now just five feet for birdie. Get to 24 under par. We're even going in the edges for him. Good putt, nice two. I, I know I'd be standing up there with driver and just make a good swing. Not only that, it, it really opens up that left hole location if you get it way down there on that right side. Yep, right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, Three that's wood. fine. Yep. Yeah, I almost put, play this like you got a one shot lead. Yeah, He's, put the icing on the cake right here. Just go ahead and take care of business. Yeah, it's a little, little right, but right at hole high like he has been all week. Let him know it doesn't break right at the end. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's straight from there. Doesn't break left. We thought it was right. going to go left. That doesn't break left. Doesn't right. break left. John was bogey free that week. 56 holes with no bogeys. Stress. No stress. Did he Why hit not? it? Did he hit it? Did he hit it? Yes, sir! Right Stephen Alker with a birdie on the last hole. Finishes at 25 under, wins the Mitsubishi Electric Championship at Hawala Line. He matches Lauren Roberts, low 54 total, set back in 2011 at 25 under.